glass of milk Standing in between extinction in the cold and explosive radiating growth Ever since Darwin, we've bought into the idea that humans evolved from ancient chimp-like creatures that's because modern chimps seem to share a lot of anatomy and behavior with we humans. So the idea that we evolved from something like chimps seems to make sense. But now, the discovery of Artipithecus shows that this idea is totally and completely wrong. Virtually every culture on Earth has its own origins myth. And in fact, these origin myths are people's stories about how the world was formed and how they got on the world. But now we can move beyond myth. We can move beyond fairy tale. We can move, guided by evidence, to what really happened in our past. A century and a half ago, Darwin's critics pointed to the huge differences between living apes and humans as evidence of a fatal flaw in his theory that humans evolved. Cartoonists at the time satirized Darwin as a deluded, half-chimp, half-human creature. More than a century later, a real creature, recovered from a small hill in Ethiopia, has brought the hard evidence Darwin lacked. Artipithecus has finally removed the barrier once thought to separate us from the rest of the living world. And in this valley, we have found our roots. We've been able to trace those roots for six million years into the past and to put together a record of human evolution that is not only comprehensive, it's also very clear and is very compelling. We evolved. Evolution has produced a tree filled with branches, not a chain of links. Today, Homo sapiens is just one twig on life's vast and spreading tree. Even though Artipithecus lived far back along our branch of the family tree, it already had important traits found today only in our species. Artipithecus shows that we did not evolve from chimpanzees. And it also reveals that we were not created apart from the rest of life on Earth. We humans evolved as part of the natural world, just like all other animals. We did not evolve. One of us might lose his hair. A hard evidence 